Good race to finish the program as it normally is on a Wednesday night at Happy Valley and no change this week. We run a Class 3 1200 metres. Starbright cops the top weight again of 135. Yo Beauty carries five pounds less than his last start win over Armour Eagle. That's due to a claim for Angus Chung. Humble star went on protest last time. Uh, Armour Eagle has his third start for Jamie Richards. Midori Beauty, Happy Valley debut. Did trial here back in April. Wide draw for Exponential. Talent Supremo goes to the 1200. Won twice at that distance before arriving at Doncaster and Newbury. Divine Shining wears a tongue tie. How deep is your love? And Savvy Chic both come up to Class 3 for the first time. The speed map here, Nick, for the 1200 metre start. And Yo Beauty, well, if he jumps like he did last time, he'll be just about off the page. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it should be a good page, shouldn't it, if he's, uh, if he's able to replicate that, that's for sure. Um, look, Savvy Chic is, is the interesting one, I think, from where he's drawn, because he led when winning, uh, when beating Colonel. Actually, had How Deep Is Your Love third on that occasion. Those two, I think, won't be uh, too far away, given the way that he ran. Uh, last time when, when scoring he was always prominent and exponential uh, he's a horse who can usually sit forward and I think they they almost have their hand forced a bit Paul given where he's drawn yeah he's drawn well I think Humble Star he's, although he's drawn six there's a lot of pace underneath him he might end up uh, looking for cover midfield Midori Beauty uh, Star Brighton Lucky Eight I thought was unlucky at his last start and caught the eye in his first Happy Valley run Slightly better draw for Lucky 8 this week. But we're going to start, Paul, with uh, Yo Beauty. We don't see the start here, but that's as fast as you'd ever see a horse leave the gates this race. Wasn't it? And uh, he got to the front and it was uh, the winning of the race. Um, Armour Eagle was held up a couple of times. You can see him there and there. But once he got in the clear, he really flew. I think Armour Eagle can turn the tables here on uh, Yo Beauty. So... Of, of those two, he's the one I've got in. Yeah, I mean, with the claim, it, it does sort of swing in favour of Yo Beauty, but as you say, there's not a great deal between them and certainly wouldn't shock if Jamie Richards' horse could turn that form around. I've got Chevy Sheiknik coming up in grade. He's drawn to get an absolutely perfect trip here. He, he absolutely is, Mark. And, um, I mean, the way he was able to win two starts ago was, was good. Now... Uh, he had How Deep Is Your Love third behind him. He's come out and won since, so his form really has taken a nice boost. And, and last time out, he was favourite when beaten, but I don't think he lost anything in defeat this uh, on this occasion. He's, he's kept on really well, and I think with a lightweight, Paul, he's a, he's a live chance. Yeah, definitely. He's going to get the perfect run. He's up in, up in grade, but uh, I think he's a capable winning at the bottom of Class 3, and especially with his 116 pounds he gets mm. to carry. And King Excellente, who beat him, won again last yeah. weekend, so that form further. Frank, How Deep Is Your Love, uh, Paul, another up-and-comer. He's a, just a three-year-old by deep field. Yeah, so he's a class four horse going into class three as well. Another one that comes in with this lightweight of 116. He goes in for me as well. I thought it was a very strong win. Another one I think can easily win here in class three. Absolutely. Look, I mean, he, he was very unlucky on his second start when running ninth. Ryan Moore rode him on that occasion. But no mistake, this this day he was he was very good and he looks very progressive. He beat sixth generation, who's been in good form, albeit without luck as well. Now, actually, the winner of this race, Nick, will be second past mm. the post-humble star. But uh, it was a case if you were on him, you'd be as confident as you could be going into a protest hearing. You would indeed, um, and for for those that you know want to see it again, go and have a look at the head on because it, it was evident, and, and you can see it there for sure. So um, yeah, look, it was a really nice uh, nice run from him, albeit you know finishing uh, second past the post, Paul. But he's clearly a nice horse, and he knew his job this day. Yeah, he definitely did, didn't he? I, I just wonder if he was totally screwed down for that one, and second yeah. up could be a little bit of a bounce. But uh, I thought there was a really good run behind it, that lucky eight that ran third, yeah. because he got bumped a couple of times in the straight, and he still finished off. So. Shame to see California Sybil beaten there. Yeah. <laughs> You're still tripping over your bottom lip, aren't you? Oh, well. <laughs> what about Midori Beauty, Paul? He's been just about everywhere now. He comes to Happy Valley for the first time. He's been on the all-weather. He's been on the turf at Sha Tin. He's trialled up well. Zach looks like he's had enough of him. Yeah, well, look, I've, I've put him in just about most of his starts and I've left him out as well. So he'll probably, what that, what that normally means is he normally wins. <laughs> but uh, look, I, the, he's been consistent. You could just say that about him. Always looks good. Jenny always gives him a rap and he finished off the race strongly, but he just can't get his nose in front. Yeah, look, he's, he's he's arguably his worst, his own worst enemy, isn't he, on occasions? But there's something there, and the fact that we've probably all left him out means he will go and win. Now. <laughs> the punters haven't. He's the early favourite yeah. for the last. Yeah. There we go. Well, they've seen it. There. But he has been well backed in uh, most of his starts. Has Midori Beauty. If he doesn't make it in, I think it's a really nice race to finish, as they normally are. Good betting races. I'm going to go with a horse at double figures. Uh, Sort of put a few in uh, today at double figures. He's another one. Lucky eight. He's on top. I uh, really like the way he finished off his race strongly. Savvy Sheik will get an opportunity right in behind the pace. How deep is your love? Another up and coming. An Armour Eagle all but one last start. 7, 11, 10, 4. 
Yeah, I've gone with Savvy Sheik in the last. He looks very well placed to get a lovely run, as Paul alludes to. And I think he can just track the pace into it and yeah, and pounce when it counts, when it, when it matters. So uh, Savvy Sheik on top. Over How Deep Is Your Love? I think it's a really nice type, very progressive-looking three-year-old. Humble star. Um, look, he was obviously, you know, he knew his job there on, on local debut and he's got some handy enough form in Australia. So uh, we'll go with him uh, to, to certainly fill the frame. And Yo Beauty is a horse very much uh, in form and will possibly lead them up here. 11, 10, 3 and 2. There it is, the preview for the last race number nine. A reminder, January Cup night at Happy Valley Group 3 Racing gets underway at 6.45.